Hey guys, it's Dream Doll, and you're watching Hot Girl Style Home Edition in my glam room, okay? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys, hold on, wait, before I show you guys, I want to let y'all know that for the BET Awards last year, the one that's in Miami, I did my own makeup, guys. Reference back to the picture. Like, I had a makeup artist confirm, like, the week before. She got jammed up with her um, final appointment before mine. 30 minutes before I have to be on the red carpet, I'm in the mirror crying. Oh, my God. I spent all this money on my outfit. Oh, my God. I got a balmain dress that's going away. This is not just me, you know. Um, hold up. Babe, I'm doing something for BET. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, so boom. I'm like, I'm not about to do my own makeup for an award show, but anyway, whatever. Humbled myself real fast because I had to literally learn how to do my makeup for crisis time. Now is the time where you should know you don't need nobody for anything. You're supposed to learn how to do everything. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup for you guys today. Um, you know, fresh face, clear skin. This is me. Dream. First step is make sure your brushes is clean. Yeah. You would think I've been home all this time and I would have clean brushes. This is like a quick dry. So you dip it in there and then you just wipe it on there and that takes it off. I don't really use that many brushes. I'm more of a beauty blender girl. I'm gonna start up on my eyebrows. Get a little closer. Okay, hold on. Start up with your primer. So I use the 24 hour hourglass. I was using YSL, but my makeup artist put me on to something. So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. It's like follow and blend. Okay. Then I use Kevin Aqua um, number SX08. See, I like to line up my concealer like that. And then I basically drag it down. And then I take my foundation, which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and this is color nine. And I take a little bit of the foundation because I don't like that white cast around my eyebrows. So, uh, I just did some dumb shit. Sorry guys, the good thing about doing your makeup, you can always backtrack and fix things. Now I look like this. Then I take a blending brush and then I blend. Uh uh, I like to do my makeup with my eyebrows done. It's a no. Okay, so got my foundation. Let me go wash my beauty blender. Okay, I'm going to put my foundation on. Spread it out. And then pat it away. I always be buying darker foundations though because I like that J logo. So my next step is my contour. I use the shape tape from Tarte. This is color medium sand. I put that right there. Right there. I grab my Kevin Aqua con concealer. And I mix it. I don't know, I'm just in between colors though. So then I blend this. Blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna use this contour only because I cannot find my other one. And I just put it right there. Ugh, oh, I don't like this contour, but whatever. All right, so you take any cream contour you have and you just blend everything together. Meow. I get my primer, which is by Dermablend, and I dip the damp. It's 
while that bake. I'm gonna add some something to my eye. I'm gonna use the Tarte Tease palette, and I'm gonna use Heartbreaker and Crush Mix. And I'm not a big eyeshadow girl, so put something light. I'm gonna take Whisper, which is the first color, and blend this out right here. And I'm gonna add a little shimmer. This is by Vanessa Madrix. I just add a little shimmer. So now, palette from Sephora. It's called Toffee Peach. Take it, and this is an all over face powder just to lock and even and blend it. I usually use the Kat Von D palette, but I'm gonna have to use the Morphe. Just broke everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna use the Fenty contour powder. And this is nutmeg. So get the job done no matter what brand you use. I use the Dior highlighter along with the Anastasia highlighter along with the Fenty highlighter, Trophy Wife. So Hollywood and Dior. Take your fan brush, and I like to put them all, mix them all, and like that. So I'm gonna come over here to my Anastasia. I'm gonna come over here to my trophy wife. I'm a highlighting girl. Okay, so we done set the face, contoured the face. Highlighted the face. I like to also use a setting spray. Spray it on the brush and just give it a final touch. It just makes it more bolder. Y'all see? Okay. Okay, and my final step, because I have um, lash individuals, I don't put lashes on. I take a lip liner. And this is by NYX SPL 802. Oh my god, I forgot my blush. Okay, blush, blush, blush. Blush, blush, blush. Okay, blush. <gasps> this ain't even blush. So I got my orgasm blush. Just put a little bit right there. Now back to my lip. I put a brown lip liner on. I put on a a pinky nudie lip. Um, this is Fortune Cookie by NYX, and I just put that right there. So guys, this is my final look. This is how you do it yourself when you don't want to rely on nobody and you need to learn how to do it, baby. Make sure y'all pay attention to y'all makeup artists, okay? Cause it's a natural beat right here. And <laughs> look at how I leave my vanity every time I do a makeup. Bye guys, it's Dream Doll. Enjoy.